But should you actually ever tell a friend who's going on and on and on about a breakup to be quiet? Yes. yes. You yes. should, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. First of all, I'm definitely going to sound like a right cow now. But <laughs> if, I, 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 first of all, if we're not close, just don't tell me problems. I'm not interested. Now, uh, now, no, stay with me. Bear with me. Uh, as a friend, I am very. Look at Colleen's face. <laughs> No, as a friend, I'm very compassionate. I'm very sympathetic. If you have a problem, we have a problem. So I only internalise my close friend's problems. So if you're coming backwards and forwards to me and, you know, wanting to talk yeah. about this guy and Ringing whatever... you up at 3 o'clock yeah. in the morning And crying. I don't mind. I don't mind. But I have... One of my friendships has actually come to an end because of this. So one of my friends, she would call me all the time. We would go through it. We would talk through it. And then it was like, you know, she would call me up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'd be crying with her. And, you know, it's really... I get emotional as well. But then two weeks later, you're back with the guy, and you know, and it's just like, uh, oh, for God's sake! So, well, and it's, and it's, fair so point, to me, it's a cycle. So, so I'm just kind of like, just okay, it's time to stop talking about him now. And I literally said to my friend, if you're going to talk about him, I'd, we can talk about anything else, but not him. And I, I, I've not spoken to him for about well, four years. Well, you're still catching flies with your mouth open. Well, she is a heartless cow. If you don't <laughs> <have that. laughs> remind me not to pick the phone up. <laughs> Oh, no. I, no, I, you know, I love boring my friends with problems. <laughs> but equally, love them coming to me and I will listen to them all day. And the thing about a friendship is, it is that. You hate their partner when they hate them and you love him when yeah, they love him. You, you know, when you go back and forth with them. You yeah. know, that's what being a, a friend is, in, in my opinion. And so, no, I, I don't think that you can put a time on it. I mean, yes, there are people who are even not just about relationships, mm. who are just down on everything. It's all poor me, poor me, poor oh, yeah, me. Yeah. And they can be draining. Mm. And sometimes you can say, you know, come on now, get over it. Because yeah, but if it's somebody's everything. got separate... OK, so if we're putting time limits on it... If I wasn't got... you two heartless OK, now. <laughs> 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 I've included in your <laughs> OK, so if they've been together, like, six months... Yeah. So Jamelia's sort of age, six months, and then she's still banging on about it, or, hit, or him, six months after that, what do you reckon? Well, because, you know, if your heart's broken, it doesn't matter, matter whether it's six months or six years. Don't be so horrible. But there are people who will suck the life out of you <laughs> yeah. and then leave you oh like a God, wet... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll leave you like a wet rag because they've sucked <laughs> every single bit out of you. And then they're all filled up and pumped up because they've got all your life in them. They go, I'm all right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, there's the other thing is that if they do that and you go, yes, okay, let's talk about it. I agree, and mm -hmm. I think you should leave him. And then they go back, and then they hate you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Turn on you because exactly. you're the baddie. Because you you've said bad things. No, about yes. Thing is, right, but the, the thing the is, the problem is, is that <laughs> I take all this on board. You know, I've gone through it with my kids when they've had broken hearts and sisters and friends and all of that. Um, the fact is that actually they do get over it. The problem is I've taken so much foot on board that I'm still crying six months later because <laughs> I'm not over it. You see? I can't get over it. That's my problem. Now, there, there has to come a point no. where you have to say to your friend, OK, I understand your hurt, I understand, but come on, what can we do? I'm not saying, oh, just get over it, but let's let's stay positive, let's do... I don't know, no, let's but start you can do hobby. that, but then you've still got to accept <laughs> there's going to be days when they're going to be down again. Making dolls. You know, <laughs> it's, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes, whatever it takes. I understand. I mean, and they, yeah, they probably are going to have down days, but just not. I mean, just this, not this, you. No. <laughs> no, this particular friend, oh, every yeah. single, <laughs> every single conversation was about the guy. Everything, and as I said, we had nothing to talk about. When I said I don't want to hear about him anymore, we had nothing yeah. to talk about. I, know, I remember. To talk listen, about. when yeah, I yeah. when I split up with no, my yeah. ex, um, I remember on the first day getting in the car, playing Sacrifice, you know, by Delton John, Delton John. Delton you know, like seventy five. Yeah, 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 yeah. and, and the thing is, I played it every day until I couldn't stand it anymore, and I broke down. <laughs> so I did it. And I, and you can't do that, can you? And, uh... So you know, if you want to have a moan to one of us here, it's only Auntie Colleen. Or Delton yeah. John. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>